and welcome back to some more in Shrouded. Right, well, we're back on the main character. Still haven't continued my uh, hardcore series, but yes, I just got my daughter to sleep, and I did stumble over a video that was playing in the background. I mean, it was basically on autoplay, because if you know my content and you know my channel, I don't really watch any other content creators when it comes to the games that I play. Uh, for two reasons. One, that I don't really want to get spoiled, and the other one is, obviously, I don't have time. Hence why it was in the background. Now, the video that I'm talking about is from... Hang on. Yeah, the video that I'm talking about is from this feller, Just Soup. Discovering the mountain biome coming to Enshrouded in Update 4. Now, fair warning, the audio quality is old school, I can say. I mean, he also apologizes for that in the beginning of the video. Now, this video was auto-playing in the background, and I thought, well, well, sure. I mean, uh, it's fun to listen to people that are, you know, speculating about the update. But when I looked at the screen, it was this thing, Enshrouded unofficial games count roundup now this is very interesting to me that it was i mean i haven't watched the complete video i mean well i've listened to the complete uh, video but again i was a little bit distracted on account of my daughter but this is very interesting now obviously this is unofficial i, I think i have no idea to uh, how to confirm this apparently this is from the games con like, again, I'm gonna leave a link to the original video right there in the description, but it did intrigue me. Because right over here we have new biome, the mountains will be available to explore, flame and level cap increase, level caps change from 25 to 35. Yeah, I mean, Mr. Mr. Kentsu over there, he did mention the level cap increase, so maybe it's this video that he was talking about. New location to explore, new enemies and wildlife. Right. So, new mobs. A scavenger faction expanded new enemy types like workers, taskmasters, and flamethrower wielding enemies. Yeah, because there hasn't been any mob in the game that ut utilizes flames. Well, technically the uh, Shroud Wyvern, the big blue doggo, I mean, he... Well, it's more like a power beam. New boss, Cyclops, now with more skin. Yeah, well, according to the lore, uh, the Cyclops did ascend from the mountains and then came, well, basically to, like, uh, Revelwood and caused some havoc, which is why we find the first uh, Cyclops boss in the Hollow Halls in Revelwood. Let's see. New NPCs, Townfolk, that can be rescued and summoned in your base. Your base is alive, these NPCs will wander your base and interact with one another. Now, that could be very interesting. Again, I'm just gonna emphasize, nothing of this is confirmed, I have no idea. I don't have time to look stuff up, but, ooh, that could be something. Hopefully, they will have some kind of use. Like, I would like them to maybe do some work, preferably. Maybe they can do some woodcutting and such, gathering of crops, who knows? New gameplay features. Hookshot can pull distant enemies closer to you. Get over here. That is interesting. That is very interesting to me. Now, in my video that I was, you know, speculating about what I wanted in the next update, I did mention that uh, the grappling hook should be able to hook onto any surface, basically, so that you could swing around like Spider-Man. But this would be... A game changer especially for melee builds because in yesterday's video well now it's a couple of days ago i don't have time to <laughs> uh to do all of this in one day but yeah there is a problem if you run a pure melee build you don't do any damage whatsoever with the wand or uh, bow or uh, the staff but if you were able to pull them closer to you and then do melee damage, oh, that would be something. That would be very much something. Weather system, rain, wind in, in some biomes, and snow in the new mountains. Now, I've stated previously that I'm not too much of a fan of weather systems, because they can become quite annoying. I remember, like, back in the Minecraft days when I was playing on, actually, the Yogscast official server, way back in the day, I think this was, like, in 2010, 2011, uh, that, yeah, the mods were pestered about turning off the rain because it was annoying. Then again, if you have a way to control it, I'm all for it. Pets and farm animals in your base. New pets available to live in your base, like cats and dogs. Now, dogs I would get would be very fun to actually have a combat pet, like a wolf or something. Now, cats, I mean, there hasn't been any cats in the game. 
but who knows, farm animals like goats and rabbits. Sure, what about chickens? I need eggs. Rabbits and goats, I mean, sure, could be fun. And miscellaneous, new weapons, armor, spells, new music tracks, new building, roof blocks, materials, additional furniture and crafting stations for the NPCs, yeah, that's awesome. Hang on, what is this? Keep in mind, this is third-party information, and there may be more features that were not shown, and all information is subject to change upon release. Right, yes. Oh, hang on, it's already dark in my world. Well, it doesn't matter, I can do just a little bit quick log in and out. And now it is day. Now again, can't confirm nor deny. Honestly, have no idea how Mr. Soup over here got the information. Maybe I should have listened more closely to the video. Again, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. I'm saying this multiple times so that I will remember to do that. Ah, but oh boy, yeah, that sounds very interesting. Because right over here, I believe, I think, isn't there a tower approximately here? And in that lore, I think it mentions something about a cyclops wandering in. Then again, was that in, like, the pike? Uh, I don't really remember the lore. I mean, I could go over there and double check, but... Ooh, that would be interesting. That would be very interesting. And a level cap increase with t 10 levels. That would be something. 10 more skill points, including a new biome, hopefully, at the same time, which means uh, more... Uh, shroud roots, possibly, possibly more elixir wells. I mean, we're not sure if the mountain biome is gonna be connected to like this area of the map. If there's gone, I mean, there is shroud over there, but the mountain is high up, so hmm, it could indeed be interesting. Yes, yeah, and having some more bosses. Hopefully, the cyclops isn't just you know a reskinned pun intended or added skin for the, uh, like, uh, the existing cyclops. I would like a big mountain cyclops, maybe with a mace or something, and of course with a new move set and attack pattern. Yeah, definitely that would be something. Oh, but my wife has booted up seven days to die, which means that I really want to play with her, so that's probably what I'm gonna do real soon. Ah, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick little rambling video. Again, the credit goes to Mr. Soup over there. Not sure if he actually was at the convention. I mean, of course, I wanted to go, but because of, you know, life stuff and money stuff, I had no ability to. Even though it was kind of close, I mean, just a tiny little uh, ride on the plane and I would be over there. But, uh, yeah, you know, life gets in the way. Oh, I got a little bit of a side eye from the wife. But, me, me, me. Oh, it's gonna be very interesting indeed. I mean... People have probably already talked about this on Discord. Why couldn't I hit a single chicken? Get over here, chicken. Right. Uh, but again, I am not active on the Enshrouded uh, Discord. I mean, sometimes if someone posts a question that I can answer, like in the getting started section, I will answer. But again, I don't produce there too much because I'm still in search of uh, the Excalibur sword. Uh, which is why I'm trying to stay away from any type of spoilers, because you never know. Oh boy. But I have a feeling that the update is close. Again, I'm not gonna say anything. I have no idea. I don't have contacts at King Games or nothing. And I'm barely on the Discord. I mainly just uh, see what people are posting in screenshots and a little bit of the updates and news and some of the shorter videos that King Games do post. Ooh, if I could use the grappling hook just to pull enemies, flying enemies closer. Oh, that would be something. That would be very much something. I'm uh, talking about flying enemies. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe, just maybe, if they added a flying boss. Ooh, that would be something. I mean, you probably wouldn't be able to pull it down with the grappling hook, but uh, there's different uh, possibilities over there. Now, as for the pets. Hmm. I mean, it would be very fun to have a pet around, but I also want, like, a combat pet. And one thing that would be good, I mean, if they were to expand at Beastmaster uh, talent tree, yeah, being able to tame wild animals to fight for you, I mean, that would definitely be something. Now, of course, you do, don't really want them to die, so mm, not sure how you would do that. And also summons. Ooh, summons would be very good. I mean, we have the necromancy, the summoning 
uh, thingies for the skeletons, but yeah, I want more. I want something like a dragon or a bird, a spectral steed of some kind. I think that we're gonna end it here. I really want to continue to slay some zombies with the wife, and we have a little bit of time since our daughter is asleep. Anyhow, I think that I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.